back in cans, click clacking in his backpack, making it hard to walk out like nothing just happened. Security guard was asking, What do you have, kid? What's in the bag? Madness set in, so he just ran right past and tagging. Later that night, bombing every wall in sight. All right, Chico, Epis. I'm the malator of ACK. Alright, so what I write is cash. So we started running, ditched his cans in a dumpster, praying the cops wouldn't check the one that he dumped them in. I don't know, graffiti is just. It's just something that runs in the blood, you know, like all my family's artists. Um, you know, it, and, it, and I guess everybody, like my family, inspires me to do graffiti as well, like just do art in general. So, like, the type of art I pick is graffiti, so they still inspire me to do it. Even my mom inspired me to do it sometimes, and my dad too, too, even though sometimes he don't like it. Respect depends, um, depends, depends how you do it, because some people might not even know how to do graffiti, and they're out there just vandalizing the streets with ugly tag names, and that doesn't really earn you respect. I mean, you get up, people know you, but it's not really respect, because you might, your skills might be not good. As you say, they could be whack, and people won't like you for hitting up streets that and making them look worse. What I like about graffiti is um, I can express myself through letters. Especially me, I'm kind of like a letter fiend. Like most people say, uh, you get to express your feelings. Uh, nobody tells you how to do it unless you want to improve. You get tips and you just do what you want. Uh, do whatever colors you want, see how you like it, um, basically. I do graffiti because that's one way of expressing myself. I like to work with different colors, create new things, and I like to show my mood like through graffiti, through colors, through letters. Graffiti means to me uh, a way of life, really. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people think that like graffiti, like isn't addicting. Graffiti is very addicting. Uh, you can go out and do. Basically, write whatever you want, any messages. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just being able to create your own stuff, your own colors, adding your own details, doing, your, um, showing it to people, being proud of it, proud of what you do, especially when people compliment you on it. That makes you feel that you're good and that you have, uh, let's see, you have a talent that not a lot of people have. Well, tagging is just go out there to the wall, just catch a signature. I don't consider it graffiti. It's more like writing, because graffiti is just a term that the people gave to it. But it's just like writing, you know. But tagging is just going out to the street, catch a tag, another tag as you're walking. That's basically how I consider tagging. Well, I don't really think it's legal because graffiti is a form of art. It's just basically art, but in an urban way. But some people take it as it, like it's gang banging or like gang affiliate. How do you say that? Affiliated, yeah. but it's not. It's a form of art, and I think people should just you know admire it. It's not an illegal art. It's just it's just that people choose to express it in the streets, you know? Uh, even though it might be uh, ruining somebody's property, but either way, you're expressing yourself, and I know I know that it's not right to go do that, but I don't know, sometimes it's depending on where you're at. Like, like, the lim like the resources you have to go hit up, you know, it's, it's just limited. Try to get a group of kids, you know, and try to go out in the community asking for walls so we could do some nice something nice on them so people start recognizing that it's not illegal it's not a crime it's a form of art so just bring music to the walls you know like invite people to come see us paint stuff like that I just start a crew you get a couple of folks they're down they're basically down with you to paint everywhere go everywhere, they got your back, they look up to you, and you just start cool, you start going painting together, stuff like that. Right now I run a, I run a graffiti class at my school. Uh, I'm teaching other kids uh, the basics of 
about graffiti, basically how to how to um, work off a simple letter, uh, learning how to do designs, their 3Ds, their shading, and I'm teaching them how to be uh, humble about their their places, the, pla the, the places they decide to go hit up. And my internship, I intern with at a middle school, and I have my own small small graffiti class, and I teach a couple kids, and I also tell them what they should not do, like not tag at school because they're eventually gonna get caught. And yeah. Moment I wake till the moment I fall. The click clack of the spray cans call. So whether the spot is big or whether it's small, my mission is to be filling these empty walls. From the moment I wake till the moment I fall. The click clack of the spray cans call. So whether the spot is big or whether it's small, my mission is to be filling these empty walls. Uh. It's a pity that this graffiti life is so gritty. It feels shitty to have committees trying to stop a city beautifies. Who can deny us the rights right what we think is right? But the sirens come just to spite us. We're only armed with ink for cops' violence. Paranoia has.